waiting for the rainbow. I am. If there's gonna be one, maybe not. Oh, hang on, hang on, I forgot something. <laughs> Good day! And welcome to McKinley. This is upmarket Manila. And this is McKinley. Man, it was the sun I was pointing to. <laughs> right, that was that was me and my brain pointing at the sun so I could position myself right. That, that was what that was, if you were wondering. I've just figured that out myself. So having a little bit of a uh, little bit of potting going on. Guys have come out from the potting shed and they're making good. They've been bedding these plants. <laughs> Aha! As we can see this guy <laughs> working away. Man, I'm not so sure about this pavement. Look, that's a bit. Mate, you need to relay these. Do you want me to do it? Ah, oh, oh, here's why I stopped. Look, look, I don't know if you guys will catch it. There's a plane coming in <coughs> up there. That's a little one. I don't know if you can catch him because that's why I just stood it and I'm just hanging about. But uh, did, will he crash into the Bayer building? Will he? Ah, no, okay. The next one, mate. That's why I thought I'd, st thought I'd start this vlog because I'm going to be standing there with my big zoom getting some pictures but yeah you need to lay these mate like they're just embedded these on a bit of soil they ain't got to last two minutes mate you gotta have trip hazards and all sorts you gotta get these on a bit of sand you need you need you need to butt them up a bit more <laughs> yeah how are you mate all right supervisor no head scratcher <laughs> chief head scratcher <laughs> How are you buddy? Are you good? You alright? Yeah. When did you start planting these? This morning or yesterday? Yes. Yesterday? Yes. Yesterday you start? Huh? Planting? Wait, how long does it take you to do this job? Just planting for 6am in the morning. 6am in the morning you start? Uh, what time do you finish? Uh, 6 till 2. Oh, yeah, and then do, do another shift come on two till ten yeah. yes okay <laughs> have a good day buddy thank you oh uh, they need look look they have they've got to saw this brick weave out <sighs> well they'll come and tell them to do it properly what's that all uh, you know what will happen that'll all grow the grass will grow all between right and the grass will grow up and that'll hold all that together but what a nice bike there look I think it's all got fairy lights on it. Yeah, it has, so it's all fairy littered up. As is that wonderful archway. I oh, mean, that's the picture I want through the archway. <laughs> Good eye. I'm going to have some fun while I'm here, guys. I'm here, I'm going to have some fun. There come another jet, look. You're seeing they're coming in fast. Fast, man. How are you guys? You good? Good. You working hard? Yes, sir. You've been working since six this morning? Yes? Yes. And you're looking forward till two o'clock, right? Yeah. Good for you guys. Have a good day. Don't work That's too hard. <laughs> so it's another airplane I missed. But we'll get a screen so and I can't. Is that good enough? That'll do. That'll do, right. I will find something more of an interest. Barbara, and you can see they're all fairy littered up. This would be like wicked in the evening. Well, that's what people like, they'll come here and have their selfies of an evening. I'm gonna go down that strip there. I'm gonna have a good look around it because it's all really bizarre and ill-fitting. But I do, I do like the waterfalls. I do even know the water is really green. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna stay here until I get my photograph of a plane almost hitting the Bayer building. And I'll probably, I'll probably include the clip. Yeah, 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 I'm sure I will. condominiums for the rich people in Manila who like this dirty shabby facard to surround the area <laughs> the Italian embassy is just on the other side so I guess there's some kind of influence with regards to maybe the design of these condos residents 
all a bit paints fading bit 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 run down if you look at all this stuff which that's why i've come behind the scenes <laughs> didn't mean to i'm lost i'm just walking about but i've just ended up coming up here behind the scenes seeing a bit of a shanty bit of gardening going on <laughs> and you know that the has to pile up somewhere at the end of the day uh, even in the most rich prestigious areas <laughs> yes of manila yeah Whoa. <laughs> i can't climb up there i want to show you what's in there yes yes <laughs> Shanty town, full of, sh isn't it? Right on the edge of Millionaire's Row. That is, it is what it is, as always. It's always somewhere. <laughs> yeah, it's all blocked off. So they must just throw the sh over there. I guess at some point someone will come and clear it up. Oh man, the parking here. The shanty, a bit of shanty, look. Wherever there's shanty, got Millionaire's Row. And then you have shanty. Shh. But there's no excuse. Because here's his money. Here there's education. Here they should know better. <laughs> yes, yeah, look, everywhere. It's all about shanty, all in there. Here's where plastic becomes part of the countryside. Look. It is. It is. No excuse in these rich seats. But that's the thing wherever there's wealth and there's upmarket and uh, whatever you call that it's just bizarre and unfitting and it's not it, it, it's not anything that i would say would resemble what manila actually is you know what manila's like passe that's it i was lucky enough to arrive there on day one and then wherever you go from there all you're going to encounter is bull <laughs> you are you are that's why I come here. I didn't expect it to be. I was just like, oh man, <laughs> they've got an army gate. Can I come in? No. Can I Can I film? No. Okay, okay, no problem. Thank you. There's, there's army there. They're all, um, what is that? That's the Huck Bowen. It's the Philippines army. <laughs> so I can't film there. I can air airplane. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Oh man, we're going to see it. Is it going to hit a tower? No, because no one's flying it remotely, I bet. <laughs> oh man, I'm, it's even more. Well, I'm getting out of it. I'm going this way. <laughs> well, that is the main army. <laughs> I've wandered off too much. Off piece. I have. Right, and it looks like it's going to pee down the rain. Funny thing is, I know I've got to walk back all the way. I just walked. So it's not, you know, but it is what it is. I, today, I do, yeah, I've got a night vlog, I will. Oh man, um, I want to do a night vlog tonight around the area I'm living. Because people keep, I get irritated by people who live in a world that doesn't exist anymore. Like in the 80s or the 90s or, or, the, or, 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 or 10 years ago. Manila's not how it was five, 10 years ago. It's different. The streets may have been a bit dodgy, a bit like if you go out at night, you're risking your life. But, well, I don't know. I'll find out tonight whether that is the case or not. There's been changes there in the last five years, which is why I've been treated respectively around the Passe city thus so far. So when I go out tonight, we'll see. I'll test the theory but for now <laughs> I want an umbrella I'm still sweating it's my last shirt I'm going to buy a t-shirt for tomorrow's vlog going from here to Cebu and then I'll hopefully I'll get a laundrette when I'm there it'll get all cleaned up hopefully right I don't know whether it'll take another shortcut I don't know if it is a shortcut okay yeah 
getting back where I started. <laughs> well, after I got lost, didn't I? I'm about to bring you this spectacular looking fella. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Thank you. Good day. <laughs> Thank you. But who are you? Yeah, you're a mine. Yeah, okay. I put money in there. <laughs> I did. So yes, I'm lost. I'm lost. So I've had to come back right where I started in the mall. It's a little bit run down. Could do with a good scrub. Just like me. Manila could do with a major major cleanup. Even here, it's not that clean. Look how dirty the floors are. Look, it's disgusting. It, it is that dirty. I ain't making it up. That's when you come with this, but this ain't had no clean up for a long time. It's dirty. It is. Aha. So just bear that in mind when you come here. But, um, yes, right. Ah, it's going to pee down the rain any minute. I need to probably go and speak to them taxi, but there's still a couple of areas here I want to go and see before I skadoop. it to the other area which I have already forgotten the name of I think we've got I don't know the BGM up there the business department all up all around there what you will drive through about two and a half kilometers from where I was at the mall <laughs> yeah look at that uh, so I told the cab it'd get me over I thought all right this will do me I saw that that is wicked that is absolutely really cool really cool so I know Spud boys. <laughs> You're gonna love a bit of that. Look, that's just for you. That is Michael. Look at that. That is wicked. Really well done. All the tubes and pipes. I just took some photographs for you, buddy, because I know you like this stuff. <laughs> that is just really cool. Seeing that. I, I thought that looked really good. Very, very well done. It really is. Amazing what you can do a bit of plastic this is cool ah oh, that's what i was looking for the advertising boards with the cats up there that's what I, that's the picture i shoot a taxi driver uh because i didn't know they were screens the picture i saw uh, it, it, it looked like something else but now i can see it's a screen there was a picture of a big cat in there but it, it, it looked like it was a real thing <laughs> now i can see it's a screen because coffee and it's just like zara or a coffee shop but that is what you've got around here it's up market manila uh just like anywhere else up market and uh, we could be in toronto could be in manila we could be in london could be in new york we could be in jakarta could be any bloody where <laughs> you could so it's here if you want it. There's an upmarket area here. I'll wander in. I don't know if it's, that's, I don't know, let's have a wander around. That was really good though. And I did take some pretty good pictures. That is really, really good. I'm trying to think of the <laughs> latex. So a bit of latex, a bit of PVA, you do all that with. Or maybe old school plaster of paris oh that's the area b g c i just seen a thing there the alley of vikings is what i was looking at oh man love manila i do i do i do i, do. I love manila. been doing these all day got a day out and it stopped raining when i got in the cab it's peeing down and then when i got in it's all i said it's all right go slow mate go slow because <laughs> time i get out i'm hoping it would have stopped raining and when we got here funny enough it actually stopped raining <laughs> so i got out and there i am oh man they still ain't finished this off look they do all right but that's the thing you can't bed that they've been bedded in soil 
<laughs> they run out of pebbles, right? So it's, <laughs> don't know what the operations manager was thinking, you know? It's like, all these things, you've got half a job done. No one's come back. Finish that off. That's not very good, that's a waste of soil. And look at all the dirt on these silky flowers. You've got to look, that it's a bit shit. <laughs> yes, I have. So we are just having a little walk through. All these plants, plant pots, of course, if you've bought a condominium in this area, you're going to have to come here and fill it up with all this rubbish. It's like, it's like, it's just like Phuket is like this. Around Boat Avenue, you've got a shop just full of all this stuff, exactly the same stuff to put in your condominium to try and make it look a bit more, I don't know, homely. What have we got going on over here? Horta Filipino, a bit of Horta. I see an abandoned cat. <laughs> got plants in there, what's going on? Don't know what that is. There's more trees, fungus. Wow, what will we come out to? Oh, it's a Rolex shop. Well, I wonder if I can get a Rolex for 60 bucks in there. <laughs> good day. You all right? You good? Good. What are you, are you the um, cleaners here? You look after the place? Yeah, yes, sir. Oh, you're good. You do a good job. Yes, You just, what you do, keep out of the place. Good for you. Do you work all day? What time do you finish? Nine. Nine at night? Nine, nine, nine. And what time do you start? Eight. Eight in the morning? Yeah. You work 13 hours a day? Yeah. Wow. Wow. So what do, what do you drink after work? You drink Red Horse? No. San Miguel? No, tonight. No, what? You, tonight, you, wine? After work, wine or Red Horse? Red Horse? Of course, Red Horse. Have a good day, guys. Don't work too hard. <laughs> ah, man. It's cool. You always get a chat with the real people. <laughs> 13 hour day, then. 9 pm, go home, drink some Red Horse. That's how it is. We all like a happy ending. We do. We do, that's it. All you guys like happy ending. I bet at the end of your day, I know a lot of my mates in Norwich, right? I know they do always at the plastering guys. Mate, they go and sit in the Marlborough pub, right? Out of work, all those guys, all on the tools, all working all day. After they go, well, I used to, I don't know if they do, they used to have happy hour there. I've been up and joined them a couple of times. And all they want to do when they finish work is get in the bruiser and start singing a few, having a few happy endings. No, we all like it. That's what we really want to do. Our day's work, we look forward to consuming and relaxing with a decent beer. And I like the Red Horse. I do, but I can only drink, and I struggle, I only drink one, because I can really do feel the effect. Drinking Leo, drink them all day. I don't feel much effect from them. It's just like fizzy. But I get a hangover in the morning. Oh. So I am just walking about here as if I really need to state that. I think I'll just state it from here. The thing is, when you just walk about talking to a camera, right, it's just like, it is, it's an oddity, isn't it? It's like you do start talking pish. You do. Well, you probably see it, don't you, you know? I, I don't know, should I edit all this out? Not sure I want people to see me talking pish. We're looking like twat. <laughs> As we sometimes do. I might, I might sway myself in the wrong light. Wow, hang on, what am I talking? I'm walking and talking like a dick now. I started expression. What happens to you? When you start talking, YouTube gets you. you start becoming animated. <laughs> Not too animated. I've seen people get too animated, but it's just like, what, what? I don't know if there's Prozac about, I know there's loads of marijuana in Thailand, but that don't make you sort of that proactive. I can't, I, I've been watching guys that I've watched on YouTube before, and it's like to start off a little bit, hey, it's just gone mad. That's the viewing figures go through the roof. 
so it's like I understand it, it drives people <laughs> to act not normal <laughs> guess I don't know funny funny and I am just looking for something rogue donut do I want a rogue donut <laughs> so what that says rogue donut <sighs> don't want a rogue donut I want a donut that know what it's doing you know what I mean what are you doing you weeding you weeding away there where'd you start doing that about four this morning okay <laughs> I guess he I guess I can understand why he's got that job <laughs> I bet he stood there all day I bet he's one of them right you get him you see <laughs> you get him don't you people who go to work to be lazy right you just stand here all that if I be all that all day <laughs> right I'm, I'm now walking in <laughs> I try to grow a bit of grass but it ain't really come off they need a lot more water on it than that uh, but that it's what I was then walking up to. An abstract art of, of what I don't know. Oh, time zone. We've got an Oakley shop next door. But time zone looks somewhat. Oh, it's a toy shop. Oh, it's a toy shop. Eyes going. Time zone looks like a crazy arcade toy shop. Let's go in. Let's have a system. <laughs> Fudge! Hey! 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 We got King Kong, man! Oh, man! This is where I go crazy! Get over the pizza! <laughs> what have we got going on? Oh man, got crazy games in the mall. We got, we got, we got that. <laughs> we got this. <laughs> Very bad decision. Oh, we got a music hall, karaoke. Karaoke, look. Can I come in? Can I? <laughs> that karaoke away, man. Ah! The young girls, will they let me in? Can I come in? No. <laughs> Hello karaoke booth. We got some entertainment. We got a shooting gallery. We have, we've got some Halo. We've got another little singing gallery. <laughs> Go in there and sing. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. So we have got this. We've got some weird basketball game. We have got pick up a pig. Pepper pig. We've got so much noise, it's untrue. <laughs> but that is it, you can pick up a lucky tag. Man, you've got these games where you can put in a coin and win some more coins. Remember those back in the day? Yes, <laughs> yes, put in some coins and win more coins. And a slight bit of shopping there as well. And this, the Avengers game. It's a coin dropper. That is it. Right, I can't last in there for any more longer than that. I gotta get out. Oh man. Woo! Okay, that's much better. You look normal? Talk normal. Act normal. That was bizarre, wasn't it? It was. It's weird. It made me act weird. I hope I don't if I, I hope I don't get a copyright for all that noise in there. I doubt if it'd probably pick it up. Whew. Whew. So it is, I'd say coming to these areas, they, 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 they're, they're difficult. They're not difficult, they're just dull, is what I would call it, really. Fire tiger. What have we got going on here? Fire tiger? Stir before you drink. Okay. It's a beverage. I've got a bear, I could do with a bear already. I could. Coffee shops everywhere. Uh, bars, oh, I have found one. When I go to tonight's tonight vlog, I have found a bar that I can go to and probably sit and have a drink on a rooftop bar this evening. But until then, crispy creme, donuts, rubbish, man. 
Well, at least you can come here and feel at home. It's like what is like walking around Norwich. Yes, we've got malls and shops just like this. We actually have cobbled paved streets that are centuries old, maybe over a thousand years old. When were them cobbled streets put in place? But that's what they are, look, granite sets. They're all higgledy piggledy all over the place, but besides point, <laughs> what's that? Ah, oh, there's the name of the place. There, I don't have to type it in now. That's it, Bonificio Street. Bonificio. Bonificio, that's it. And it is all around, there's a bit more up there, so I'll keep going. I've got quite, I've got, and it is quite a huge street, look goes on the mega metropolis that must be like three or four kilometers right down there it is a massive massive area wow, wow. <laughs> it's a dental implant shop over there a little bit was i had to get some more antibiotics yesterday from the the doctors it was a bit weird uh, somebody said oh you can go into a chemist and get anything you want over the counter and so i did i went into the not the doctors i went into the chemist and i took my uh, antibiotic things and asked if he could give me something similar and he asked if i had a prescription i said no <laughs> got a prescription me so i had to give him a little bit of a story why i needed them because um there, there's a little bit more in there that i i, I want to come out infection wise it still ain't healed it's still healing slowly but the gums are rather soft so it's a bit weird it's a weird experience because <laughs> my mouth ain't what it used to be it's weird it is it's weird so i think that's got to take a little bit of time there's a rock on three beams what is that but wow well, look you can see the skyline it's like any other skyline in any other major city one thing I have to say about this area and uh, certain areas that I've visited in other countries, this one isn't as clean, but... Good day, buddy. Are you good? What's the, what's the bakery like, mate? Do you know? The bakery, is it good? Is it a good bakery? Do you eat here all the time? Very good. Very good. Okay, I'm going in. Thanks, my friend. Awesome. Bakery. <laughs> what do we have? Oh man, look at them. Look like cheese and ham sandwiches. Coffee. Coffee roll. It was an almond roll. Pastries look good. They do, they look alright. <laughs> so, oh, look at that. Egg. Eggy bread. The pastries look good. Oh man, there's a baker's right at the back there. Oh. These buds have perked up a bit. Oh yeah, okay, okay. I didn't really want to come in, I just want to know if the bakery was any good. Because so all the security guards and workers, they'll probably all go in the bakery. Yeah. I might just be making stuff up, they may not have the budget for it. I don't know. I didn't see any prices. But it is all what it is, and like I say, with this greenery, that clouds, could just that, <laughs> mate, if you look up there, Right, yeah, they look up there, it's London. It is, it's London with that colour in the cloud. It is. It's not being in the Elephant and Castle or somewhere. It is. What, what's that place called? Decathlon. That's it, it's like being in the Decathlon area. Right there, a few buildings, a bit of water and that. <laughs> oh man, right, I've got to have out the ending, guys. It's that time of day. I need a serious happy ending all right i'll be quick as you come through the top where i've just walked you will then come to what is called market market and i can only assume <laughs> it's a marketplace right here in front of me i am speeding up i am possibility of the battery running out also my battery running out I do need a beverage, but I will have to show you what is available at this market. Now, will it be loads of cool food so I can use my BC to make some, or will it be just a load of naff rubbish? Let's have a look. 
Okay, they've got... Whoa! There's street food going on. Oh man, look, there's a whole whole crew working with the street food. You alright, darling? You got, the, you got the hardest job doing the chopping. What, what is that, squid? Yes, sir. It is octopus. Okay, okay, big octopus. Ah oh, man, cheers. Say hi guys for the vlog. Yes, hi guys for the vlog. Yes, cool. And this is all octopus or different? Different. Sir. Different. Octopus and chicken. Ah, oh, fried shrimp and crab sticks and octopus. Okay. Thank yeah. you very much. Have a good day. Oh, and there's, if you're coming here, it's a little day. priceless. Have a good day, buddy. Ah, oh, cool. Salam at pop. Salam, how do I say that? Sal Salam at pop. Pop. Salam at pop. Okay, I'll get there. <laughs> Aha, what else? Nam Nang Kefu, very similar. You can have what looks like some Singapore noodles. Hi guys, welcome to my vlog Yeah, Hi, yeah, Anna. you're most welcome. Oh man, cool, I've got Hi, some... Dad. welcome to my guys. Excellent. Oh, oh little three of them, little superstars. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. And we have fish cake and rice cakes and mandu. Mandu, what is mandu? Chicken and vegetable. Chicken and vegetable, mandu, okay. And this is sushi, right? Yes. Kimbap. Kimbap, okay. Oh, thanks ladies, you have a good day. I've already forgot what 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 sarum. Thank you. Salama. Salama. Salamai. Yeah. I'll get there. I'll get there. Salamai. Have a good day. Wicked. Wicked. You all right, mate? <laughs> what? How are you? You good? You are good. Is this real? Your hair or a wig? It's a wig. You should grow, look, I've got, I've got same, same. Similar. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Oh man, t -shirt. I need the bison t-shirt. But I'm going to go to the night market tonight. Oh man. But they do t-shirts. Oh, overrun 200. That's a little bit pricey. I can get two for 200 on the night market tonight. Some cool stuff. It's a mingle, mingle fruit. <laughs> All kinds of people, you know, all welcome. Got a little merry-go-round. All right, there. Just love them old horses. <laughs> that little rhino, man. Oh, no, he's all right. He's all right, he's the rhino. There's a bit, oh, man, that's surreal, that. The rhino head and the... Yeah, it's okay. It's okay, it's all right. And the lion and the giraffes. <laughs> oh, I'm surrounded. It's an elephant. Can you imagine doing some some LSD in there or something, tripping on some mushrooms, you'd see this stuff. <laughs> you'd be loving them up, wouldn't you? You would, you would indeed. <sighs> Still can't see a bar. <laughs> I haven't given up. I haven't, I haven't. So guys, I hope I've shown you both sides of Manila. So you know. You pick, like I said, if you stay in this area, it'll probably cost you £100 a night, I don't know. And then, well, mate, I just ain't got the budget for this, and they don't really work for me, but like I say, I'm not. Whoa! Mm. You guys ain't me, you might, you might want a bit of this. To be honest, I don't know why you'd come to Manila. <laughs> I wouldn't, I know. Uh, Looking at from a touristy point of view, from a traveller's point of view, then, like I said, I, I, again, I, I don't know. Hang on, I spotted a pirate thing up there. Oh, pirates, loads of food, all local delicatessen, I take it. But what have we got going on in Gillum's? Gilligan's, look. I don't know if that's a roof bar. <laughs> I'm open, I'm just making stuff up. Ah, uh, we ended. No, we're still, we're in the red. A little bit left. King Sissy, something. Well, there's just nowhere where you can get a bit. Oh, mate, it's a huge taxi rank, bus rank, and everything here. Oh, this could be good news. I could perhaps get back to my area from here without getting a taxi. Here, look. It's huge. All these taxis, tuk-tuks. 
And then you've got all your hot dogs and stuff, look. As you would. Oh man, these things. All the uh, jeepneys. Big fan of the jeepneys and the drivers. Like I say, they're, they're all cool. They look really cool. Oh, a little bit. You alright, buddy? Good, good, good. They're really cool looking things, look. Look at them all stacked up here, man. They are awesome. Awesome. Look at the names. I love all these things on the front, look. Like, uh, like if you get in my way, I ain't stopping. They are wicked. They're all really cool. It's like convoy. <laughs> it is just saying that. You got the black Nazarene. Oh man, that's a wicked one. Oh, you've got a crew in here. The black Nazarene. All right. It's full. You all right, darling? Are you the driver? No. Where, where are you now going to the Black Nazarene? No. No, the Black Nazarene Church. No. Okay. That's where I want to go. To see the Black Nazarene. I do. Black Jesus lives here. Well, he doesn't live. He's dead. But he's been dead for some time, actually. <laughs> but he's here. The real dead Jesus. The black one. Of course Jesus was black. He's from Nazareth, man. It's like, what is it, Palestine? Or he was a Jew? Where was he? I know, I mean, they're not particular. They don't, I know they're not particular my color. And he's definitely done have blue eyes. So when you come to Manila, you can actually go to the black church of Black Nazarene. And I don't know if you listened to or heard before, but the celebration was just a week ago and I've missed it. And that would have been awesome. I oh mean, look at these things, they are just so well coloured. <laughs> They're just wicked. They're wicked, man. I really like them. And they're away, oh, except for the big old chug of black crap that come out of the end. Now, I really need to look at these to see where they're going. I have to see if they're going to where I want to go. If so, I'll jump on one. Uh -huh. Are we working? We are. We are in this zone. And look, look what I found. This is a smoke and alcohol free zone. What about that? <laughs> but where there's a will, there's always a way. There is. So I just saw that sign as I was coming out and I thought, oh man, I'm just going to have to go home and sit in the garden and go and buy one uh, buy beverage. But then I saw Family Mart and I had a little look in that fridge. Hello. 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 They say you can drink it out of the bag, so yes. So as long as I got a bag, look, I'm not lying, I'm San Miguel Light. Oh, it's good. It's really good. That's oh, just what I needed. You know, when you need a beer, nothing else will do. It won't, nothing. I've got nothing better to do. Getting one of them cabs, and they go back home, load more vlogs up. Oh, man, but yeah, you're yeah, out drinking. Look, look. Mm. It's like an alcoholic, isn't it? Proper drinking out of a paper bag. <laughs> Looking out of the foot of security. Good day. Look at the little man. Yeah, the security got behind it. <laughs> they run away. Well, I don't think they like that. That was all right. So here I am. Good day, mate. Good day. Finishing my happy ending. And that was market market. I did ask all those guys in the in the jeepneys and that if they would take me to Bacalaran. That's the main big area where. Where, where I stay, just around the corner. And it's a brilliant point to get in everywhere. But all those mini buses and jeepneys, they all go south, where I believe Baclaran 
from here is either north, west or east. Just, just having a guess, you know. You using the information I've gained to make some kind of calculated, educated guess. Guess. Right now, that's tickled my voice already. So, guys, I appreciate you watching and staying to the end. This was the upmarket part of Manila. Woo! If you're in Manila, it's worth a visit. Of course it is. Like I say, I'm here, so I'll give it a visit. So until next time, tomorrow, where we shall be getting back to the nitty gritty and the reality of Manila before I bugger off. So appreciate you watching, and until next time, au revoir.